Whoa there. Now better apply the brakes unless you're aiming to dash yourself against that glacier up ahead. As you can see, Chief, the station here is iced over. To reach Eleanor Lamb at Fontaine headquarters, we'll have to clear the way. Now, in order to melt that ice, you'll need a plasmid like a handful of hellfire. We used to sell a fine old product called Incinerate in the amusement park up yonder. Go on and find a way in. I've already been on all the rides. Eleanor is progressing brilliantly. My physical participation in her birth was minimized, of course. It is vital that I am unhindered by nature's crude bias. I will be, above all, her intellectual progenitor. Loyal not to her, but to the people she will ultimately save. But I admit, it is with some measure of pride that I review her marks in standard Welcome intelligence tests. Amusement. As an agent of our beliefs, she may surpass even me. You're a rare old model, son. Alpha series, I believe. Now, Rapture's full of scientific wonderments just like you. And if we can sell them to the world at my price, well, curing your condition ought to be a cakewalk. Once we find Eleanor, the sky's the limit. I was hired to engineer a park the likes of which no man has seen. Now all I do is watch over it like a grizzled sheepdog. My first line of mechanical puppets made the children here cool with wonder. But Ryan thought my vision was immature. Antiquated, he said. This place could have been something magical. But instead, he turned it into a school. No, a cathedral. Dedicated to himself. Jam dandy. That'll get you in the park. But buying incinerate's gonna cost Adam. It's a sort of genetic goo that lets you rewrite whatever God gave you. The little sisters carry the stuff, as you may recall, so you'll need to locate one. I heard a whispering near the El Dorado Lounge. Have a look. Listen up! Choppers! Get yourself hit! No fuck-ups this time! Daddy! Oh! Okay,
Andrew Ryan. Welcome to Ryan Amusements. Please enjoy the park. one night while cruising the Atlantic in his steamliner, the Olympia. His sleep interrupted with a singular purpose. Here, he shouts to his crewmen as he wipes sleep from his eyes. Full stop. We begin building here. Refitted for heavy construction, the Olympian returns with a new cargo, a state-of-the-art submersible platform nicknamed Sinker, ferries supplies and workers to the sea floor, fathoms below. After initial supplies have been brought to the sea floor, the platform is permanently moored in the sediment. Massive iron girders are sunk hundreds of feet into the rock and silt. Below the platform, Engineers work to overcome obstacles, such as diamond-hard rock, obstinate sea life, and unexpected health. I love the kids in Ms. English's third